Alrighty, people, how y'all doing? We're gonna start to clean the uh, the shed with all these leaves. And check it out. I don't have a tree in this yard. I took out those trees because they were rotten. And I gotta rake leaves even though I don't have a damn tree because we got a giant tree over here that the branches are overlapping over to my side. And look, the fence is broken again. I gotta check the fence. And I gotta rake these leaves. This is my chore for today. This is my shed where I keep my stuff and it's very well locked so don't try it that's my machine I have no equipment because I ran out of supplies I keep my stuff up there as well as uh, other little miscellaneous things in my little cart to carry heavy stuff here we have one of these power washers that I bought uh, and I only use it don't buy none of this this brand is the worst brand in the world I bought this and I used it three times three I washed the car I washed the the Florida, what they call a Florida room, this one over there, right? And then um, I washed the car, and I washed the, the, the garage over there, and, and then after those three washes, it didn't want to turn on no more. I called the company, and they said that it's not on, it's no longer on the warranty. I bought it just like a year ago, and now I'm asked out. I got no power machine. But now I got to clean all this, and I got to go, let me see. I got to get that out of there. And I got to go down this way and take these bricks. I'm taking these one at a time because they're hard to get out. And I don't have too much stuff to use equipment for this. So I take one at a time. The last time I took out two. So now I'm going to take out the rest. Okay? With this shovel that I got right there. So now, what I'm going to do, we're going to change this tomorrow. Because this thing is just eating up uh, electricity. And after that... This is my wife's car. And this is the garage in where I keep a lot of other stuff that I don't want to keep in the shed because I don't trust that shed yet. And that's all my stuff in here. This machine is to cut wood, but I don't even know how to use it. I just got to know how to use this damn thing. But eventually I will. I don't think it takes a rocket scientist. Okay? So after I finish that chore over there, I got to come out here and do this, these leaves. And I told this guy that cuts the grass for me when I'm not here to not put the grass on top of the plants because it's going to look like a mess. And I just put mulch, nice red mulch, and he covered it up with all these dead, dead grass. So here I am. I watered these plants earlier today, as you can see. I watered them nicely so they can grow. Then I cleaned the porch and let this dry, which I should put it over here in the sun so the sun can dry faster. Okay, and when I come back, I'm gonna get all those leaves and the rest of the thing. See my little palm trees? They're growing pretty good. Put those last year. So now let's go to get back to work and get this job done. And then I'll get back to you guys so you can see the, hopefully I'll get back to you. So you can, if I'm not in a stretcher, I'll get back to you so you can see the, the final outcome and how it, how it came out. How did I do cleaning the area? All right, so with that being said, this is Boricua 7, yo. From the Boogie Down Bronx, but we in the we in Florida right now. I'll holla at you as I finish, alright? Peace.